All right, I'm pulling out of Burga here on one cold winter morning. Uh, pretty chilly day. I think we got to start here in the low 30s. Got a few calls to do. Hopefully, I'll be able to film some of them. Got an inspection on my 18 seer Goodman installed this morning. I hope it's this morning anyway. And got another call where I'm not sure what's going on yet. It's a friend of one of my family members. And then I have another call with a no heat in a ritzy neighborhood called Landfall. So I'm gonna see what's going on with those and see if we can get some good footage of something. All right, we got a train air handler from, let's see, 2001. No functions at all. No fan, no compressor, no anything. There's a condensate pump there. If it were summertime, I swear I would be looking first because it is a switch that will turn the system off or certain functions off if it gets, uh, <clears throat> if it fills up without uh, pumping. And actually, you could look inside. There's a hole here. You can look inside to see if there's actually any water in it, which there's nothing in there because it's obviously wintertime and it's not condensating. So I'm going to open her up and see if the low voltage fuse is blown on the inside. Okay, there is no blown fuse because I heard the blower try to start right here. And it did not happen. And when I took the capacitor off, it sort of fell apart. Uh, one of the leads fell off and it was darkened. So I'm going to check the capacitor and then we'll see if that's it. We'll change the capacitor and then try to get the uh, blower going. Out of curiosity, I went ahead and I took the old fill piece here. I can shoot the motor to see if, how it's doing up there. As you see, it's been trying to roll 150 degrees. It's just not rolling. But I'm going to check that capacitor and we'll see if that is the cause. Okay, I remounted the capacitor because it was good. Uh, one of the connections was very loose to it and burned, so I just remade that connection. I'm going to retry the blower because what I believe happened is the blower did not come on and it just the outdoor unit cut off on high pressure. Uh, there are some issues here, as you might assume, with something of this age. Contactor looks a little rough in there. You can see it's burned up on one side more than the other. I don't see much other damage besides that. The contactor probably ought to go. Everything else looks pretty normal. It's a larger heat kit than I normally see. I really don't need a heat kit this large, but. I'm going to fire it up and we'll see what happens. Alright, we'll see if she starts up or not. What I've done is I've taken the yellow wire, which is here, and taken it apart so that the compressor does not come on. Because we don't want it to come on because I have the door open anyway. Alright, I'll flip the breaker on. We'll be taking that bad boy out. All right, we got our blower housing outside. I'm gonna take it apart and put a new motor in, just so you can see. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of difficult. You'll see the windings in their normal copper-esque color. Whenever you get a bad blower motor out, take a look inside, see what you see. You'll see here. You see copper windings, but if you look over here, you'll see black or darkened areas where it's been burnt. You'd see the same thing inside of here. See some copper on the outside, you'll see black and darkened areas. So we're just to confirm your diagnosis. But that's it. We're gonna go ahead and get our my blower removal supplies out, switch it out, put a new capacitor on it, and be good to go. Alright, we got our motor out. It's pretty easy to take out because I sprayed a little bit of this stuff. Tony told me about Aero Croil. I was using well, stuff that's not as good as this. It worked great. I just lifted up the blower and the motor fell out the other side. It doesn't always work that spectacularly, but uh, it has always worked so far. Here's our bracket. Pretty common on train air handlers. Had a little four legs and a band that goes around it. Here's our motor. 
All right, we got our blower motor on. Got it mounted back in the same bracket. Try to even it up. You can probably use the vent holes as a guide for evening the motor in the bracket to make sure everything's square. I'm going to go ahead and wire things up out here. Make sure your blower wheel is pretty even on both sides. You can kind of eyeball it. Because if they're not even, they might make some noise. You see it moving here. Nothing looks too crazy. Good. Alright, I'm going to wire it up. That's stuff I can do out here. And then I'm going to drag it back in the Alright, let's see what happens. That was much better. And we're going to proper rotation as well. That's nice too. All right, proper rotation, heat strips clicked on. Everything's working as planned. I'm gonna wire up the yellows back together and then we will see how it functions outside and in. All right, our air handler's all up and running again, as you can hear. I'll go outside and make sure the outdoor unit's running. And then we will be done, hopefully. Okay, I'm back at my job where we installed the 18 seer Goodman unit. It's all of our stuff. If you watch the last one, you'll recognize this. And they just shut off. It was very quiet. Very, very quiet. I was going to show you how the zone system was operating. But it's a little bit late for that now. Two thermostats right here. Our bypass is closing. It was opening. We can see a green light and move back and forth. But now it's closing. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now the fan control will be on, running the fan at about 30% of the total capacity. You hear it ramping down now. And they have both zones. I told them to put the fan on both zones. So we'll continue to circulate the air. Kind of uh, so you don't have hot and cold spots. Uh, misreading temperatures at the thermostat from hot and cold spots. Just like to do a lot of mini splits do on high efficiency ones where they just the fan runs and runs to circulate the air. Or you have little pockets of too hot or too cold, sort of evens out the temperature. And there we are. See the fans on here on our Honeywell wireless control. So everything's looking good. And we're done. We passed inspection, yippee. And I'm on to the next one.